Okay, here we have something very new and very special. This is the new 2012 Steve Neville remote alarm. Now even though this isn't part of the Century Neville range, these are available to buy direct from Century Neville through the website. So let's have a little bit of a look and see how it's changed for 2012. And it's really got one major change. So you can see if I spin it round, because it is a remote version with a receiver, there's still no jack plug at the back. It's got, like the old ones, it's got just a plain back plate on there. Spinning it round, it's still got three volume tones. I'll show you how to use those in a second. So it's got a high, a low, and then a silent if you just want to use it with the receiver, which is a great feature. The main difference for 2012 is that there's a huge new range on the receiver now. The receiver's now quoted to be able to receive signals at up to 500 meters. And for the first time ever on a Neville alarm, it's got sensitivity control. Now I've used loads of alarms over the years. I've been notorious for messing around with, alarm, with alarms and I always seem to keep coming back to these. They're so reliable, so simple to use. Uh, and this latest version is, is no different. It's still got the trademark Steve Neville reliability, but just with the added feature of a sensitivity control. So I'll just talk you through how it works. It's dead easy to use because it's all off of one switch. Okay, so if we turn the alarm on, first there's a flashing LED and a solid LED, and then the LEDs go off. Once they've gone off, it's now in use. That's on the high volume setting. So if you've had a standard set of Neville's, that's the sort of thing you're gonna be used to, and that's how it's gonna be. Really loud, and just the one setting. That's how most Neville users are used to using their Neville's, okay? This switch now is a two-way switch. So what happens now, in order for me to change the volume, I'm going to turn the alarm off again, and when I turn it on, you'll see that, that the LED starts to flash. And during that period when it's flashing, in order for me to adjust the volume, I just need to flick the switch off and then back on again. So I'm going to switch it off, and then while it's flashing, I'm going to quickly flick it off and on. And now you can hear it's going through a cycle, so loud, low and then it flashes silent, loud, low, and silent. Now all you need to do is once you've chosen which volume you'd like, you turn it off and on again. So I'm gonna put this on silent now. There, off, on. Light's gone out, and now you can see LED's coming on, the alarm's working, but there's no sound coming out of it. Okay, so if I now take the receiver, Hold the right hand button down. See, turns itself on. The fact that the LEDs flash three times denotes that I've got about 75% battery life left. If it went to the end, all four lights, that'd be 100%. If it just lit up the first two, 50%. And if it's just the first one, I need to change the battery. So from there now, all that should happen now is the head should be silent. And as I start to spin the alarm, hear that the signal's coming through nice and loud and clear but through the receiver only on the fourth channel. Okay now we're going to look at switching on the sensitivity control which is the new feature on the 2012 model and this is really clever so all we do now the alarm switched off now all we're going to do is switch the alarm off it will go through the cycle where the LED will, will flash and then the LED will go solid now when the LED goes solid that's the time to turn the alarm off and then back on. Now at the moment, if I just flick the alarm on, you'll hear that when the solid LED goes out, there's no noise at all. Okay, it doesn't make a noise, the alarm's just silent. And what happens is, there, is it that denotes that the sensitivity control is not engaged. It's just operating as a normal level would. So the slightest little movement with this four mag roller at any speed, and you're gonna get an indication. Okay, so here's how it works. We turn her off, turn it back on, it's flashing, it's now solid. Now I'm gonna flick it off and back on and let it go through the cycle again. And then you hear that. So when you hear that low tone, that low single beep, 
that means that it's now on low sensitivity. So low tone equals low sensitivity. Okay, now what you'll find is now, if I simulate now a false bleep, so you might have uh, some toe in the water, it may be wind, you could have uh, a, some floating weed or a weed bed going over your line, which is gonna cause that very, very slow, deliberate movement on the roller. You'll see that even though the roller's moving, there's no indication showing up there at all. So you don't get any of those annoying false bleeps. As soon as I go back to a normal speed movement, so if it's like a, a normal sort of take or an aggressive take on a fast movement, you can hear it goes off again, just as a normal Neville would. So again, the slow movement. You quite clearly see there that the roller's moving. And then faster movement will give you the normal indication. If you want to turn that off, you just repeat the process, flick the alarm back off, wait for the LED to go solid, and then off on again. You'll hear now, absolutely nothing. The LED goes off, and then even with a slow movement, you get an indication. So there we have it. The new 2012 Steve Neville alarm with an added sensitivity control. A fantastic, fantastic bit of kit.